Firearms have a tendency to appear fairly often in films, found in actions, dramas, spy thrillers, westerns, comedies, zombie films, Nazi zombie films, rom-coms? Zombie rom-coms? This is getting out of hand. Usually there's never any questions asked about why a gun's in a scene, but are there enough questions being asked about how the gun is being handled behind the scene? Recently, yes, and for good reason. This video essay aims to cover why stricter firearm regulations should be in place to ensure safety on film sets. So, what procedures are in place to ensure safety when using firearms on set? To begin with, the prop master determines which firearms are needed. They contact the rental armory, which then assign an armorer to fulfill the needs of the production. A widely used armory in the US and Europe is Independent Studio Services. Before it arrives on set, they pull and prep the gun, alongside test firing it with blanks. These checks are necessary before it's travelled to set in a secure lockbox. The firearm remains in the lockbox during its time on set. The armorer has to be with the gun at all times, as the weapons are kept under their domain and control throughout the shoot. They communicate with the first AD on set to determine where and when the weapon needs to be on set. Guns are either in a hot or cold state, hot meaning loaded with blank ammunition and cold meaning unloaded. An announcement must be made by the first AD to the entire set about a gun's state before it can be used for a scene. For rehearsals, the general procedure on set is to use a rubber version of the firearm. If loading or safety needs to be done, the gun always remains in a cold state. On the 21st of October 2021, cinematographer Helena Hutchins was killed by a bullet from a revolver on the set of Rust. Alec Baldwin, one of the producers of Rust, and the actor holding the revolver when it discharged face involuntary manslaughter charges, as does the film's armourer Hannah gutierrez Reed, who is being blamed for not adequately checking the ammunition she loaded into the gun and for allowing live rounds to get on a set. Production on Rust was suspended indefinitely as the investigation went underway, with production only resuming in April 2023. Now, although the criminal charges have been dropped against Alec Baldwin, the charges against Hannah gutierrez Reed are still under investigation. As a reaction to the case, discussions were sparked about the use of guns as props on film sets. Shannon Lee, the sister of Brandon Lee, an actor who was killed in a similar incident on a film set 30 years ago, believes that in this day and age of special effects, there is no reason to have a prop gun or a gun on set that can fire a projectile of any sort. However, a firearm safety specialist Dave Brown disagrees, believing that the cause of instances like this are the result of a cavalier attitude towards safety, and when handled responsibly, firearms are as safe as any other prop on a film set. Bill Davis, a film and TV weapons expert, said that there was an increased awareness of safety and demand for armourers after Lee's death, but that eventually fizzled out as directors lured themselves into a false sense of security that a tragedy like that would not happen again. Due to the UK's strict laws on firearms in general, UK productions are a lot more cautious when it comes to using firearms on set. As outlined in the Firearms Act of 1968, actors may possess a firearm for the purpose of the production without holding a certificate. This is only if prior approval is obtained from the Defence Council, and if the actor is under the authority of someone with a valid UK's firearms licence, which on set will most likely be the armourer. These firm conditions set by our government prevent such an incident as rust to occur in England. This isn't to say accidents don't happen in the UK, as they certainly do. For example, in 2009, David Holmes was left paralysed due to an explosion on the set of Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 1. Or more recently, in 2022, a construction worker have suffered a fatal injury from a scissor lift on a film studio. However, we don't see many, if any, incidents with firearms here in the UK. In fact, it's almost as if this is an issue strictly seen with the US. Understanding the root cause of this issue stems down to not the gun itself, rather the culture and ethos of the people owning these firearms. The US is renowned for its culture with guns. Since the Second Amendment passed in 1791, the right to keep and bear firearms has been a widely controversial topic over recent years. The Second Amendment is 232 years old at the time of this recording. During this period, the Industrial Revolution has occurred, as well as two world wars and the invention of the microchip. All are revolutionary and forced massive changes culturally to the US and the world as a whole. So is this amendment being kept for personal safety or to uphold an outdated cultural tradition? This factor could be very telling to why accidents involving gun safety occur more in the US. The procedures on set are developed in line with laws and regulations, but old-fashioned gun culture still haunts the United States. With cases in the UK almost unheard of, even though strict laws and regulations are implemented in both these modern Western countries, it presents the culture of the country as a significant threat to safety with firearms on set. To conclude, stricter regulations need to be in place and there needs to be a general agreement on set of the importance of adhering to these regulations. In studio and union bills currently being discussed, there's an appeal for new training requirements for film and television armourers to codify the currently self-imposed regulations that many film sets employ and require productions to employ set safety supervisor who has the power to shut down filming to avoid hazardous situations. I think that with these regulations in place and with a set safety supervisor to oversee that these regulations regulations are being upheld, it'll make for much safer productions going forward, where we'll hopefully avoid any situations like rust from ever happening again.